people from all over the city and some from farther have come to share their work or to learn about how to create vibrant streets and the power of local. Staying small, independent and local uh, is actually a very powerful tool in a local economic development uh, toolkit. And what we're finding, we've noticed that over the last four or five years, retail as a social enterprise is really a growth area and so we've started to do some uh, pop-up markets and really kind of animate and cultivate this this sector. It's kind of a little bit fuzzy at the moment, vendors and pop-up retailers and that kind of thing. We're kind of like wrapping our, our arms around that community and saying, all right, you guys are all meaningful to this city and how can we integrate this into, a, into a, like a, an urban development? commercial main streets in neighborhoods that don't have a deep enough mix of primary uses make life tough for stores to survive. Main streets have played a very critical historic role in creating that place where people in fact come together, know their neighbors, interact with local uh, retailers. From a design standpoint it's imperative that any retail district have contiguous retail frontage, synergy between retail spaces, uh, enough of a density of retail uses for destination appeal and uh, genuine placemaking. Placemaking means making the ground plane uh, an engaging and comfortable environment that uh, encourages socialization and commerce. It's amazing what a group of residents can do working with local businesses, working with volunteers, working with entrepreneurs to find businesses to fill our empty stores and to get landlords who will support these pop-up shops coming into their spaces. Meaningful retail and a connection to a local entrepreneur is on the rise and we're seeing it that you know, here's a private developer that have identified this. We proposed a micro retail idea and they're like, yeah, we're game. You know, they wouldn't be interested if this didn't make some business sense.